next time you get frustrated and you don't think you're making a difference, just look back at the little things you've done for students. And I'll guarantee you, there's someone out there that remembers something you did that changed their life. Jose, oh my Hi, God. Hi, Caitlin. How you doing? I'm doing so well. This movie was fantastic. And the story is amazing. I was so inspired by your journey. Just, I'm so glad you shared it. Oh, thank you very much. And I, I'll tell you, kudos to our director, Alejandra Marcus Avella, because, uh, you know, it's hard to put a whole life, condense it to two hours and to accurately portray it. And I'll tell you, for the most part, she did an outstanding job. At least the whole important parts of the story are absolutely on 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 point. And uh, so that's why I'm very happy with the movie. I love it. Can you talk a little bit about this adaptation process? Because you're right, it is you're covering so much in such a short amount of time. You know, the good thing is that they had books. Uh, you know, I wrote, I wrote, I've written three books, one, my self pen biography, another one's children's book, and then another one, a middle reader. And I think that helped them a little bit, at least to to put things in in sequential order of what how they were going to tell it. And uh, and I'll tell you, um, you know, we had three script writers, uh, Bettina Gilois, Hernan Jimenez, and then our director, Alejandra Marquez Abella. And with each one, I spent time and, you know, they sent me their draft and I would feed, you know, feed my, my, give them my feedback. And, you know, sometimes they took it, sometimes they couldn't because of how the screen uh, scripts work and all that. But again, for the most part, it was done great. And then when Alejandra started shooting, uh, well, I had met with the uh, my my counterpart actor, Michael Pena. So he got to know my personality and accurately portrayed it. Rosa Salazar, you know, uh, was portrayed in an excellent manner, my wife. So I think everything was done. I was very happy with it. Speaking of Michael Pena, can you talk to me about what made him the perfect actor to portray you? And was there anything you wanted him to specifically keep in mind while on set? I think what made him perfect is that first of all, he's a talented actor. I mean, the guy's the guy's just awesome. Uh, second, uh, he has acting experience as an astronaut. If you recall the movie The Martian, uh, he came on with Matt Damon. He's the one that that rescued Matt from Mars. So you know, uh, so I think uh, I think that was great too. And so. So I just thought that, uh, you know, when someone asked me who would you like uh, uh, you to portray, you know, what actor uh, should portray you, I immediately came up with Michael Pena. And I'm sure everybody else uh, probably came up with the same name. I wasn't the only one that got this great idea. And uh, but yeah, Michael did a great job. I completely agree. Now, I am curious because I think it's like I can't even imagine being in space. That's such a cool, such a cool thing. But I'm curious, are there any like movies or TV shows that you think actually get that portrayal right? Or is that just something Hollywood has been unable to capture? In what sense? And going to space? Like, or... think of actually being in space. I think there's a lot of movies that, uh, you know, that actually get things right. You know, I I, I love Sandra Bullock and, uh, and, and all, but Gravity had so many technical uh misconceptions there errors that it couldn't happen uh it's clear they didn't hire a a space uh, geek to help him out and then you look at another movie like the martian matt damon's and you look at that one you say huh you know about 95 percent of what happened in the movie can actually happen whereas in gravity it's more of a hey that's physically impossible to happen kind of thing and so from that perspective and so from ours we didn't have, you know, we just had the floating scene and blasting off into space. So we didn't have to get too complex. But I'll tell you, they got the whole story perfect. And uh, I was just so happy because now we're going to inspire millions of people, hundreds of millions of people. And we're so excited that it's coming out this Friday, September 15th, to over 240 countries. How exciting is that? We talked a little bit about how much time this is covering. Were there any moments that you guys maybe didn't have time to get into either just at all or the details of that you wish had been maybe a bigger part of the story? Well, there was one scene, one third of my career at Lawrence Livermore Lab. Uh, one was the, working on the X-ray laser. The other one was going to Russia. The middle one was, uh, you know, I'm the co-inventor of the first full field digital mammography system for the earlier detection of breast cancer. 
And, uh, and you know, when people ask me what's my most uh, proudest technical moment, it's not being an astronaut. It's, it's inventing this digital mammography system for earlier detection because we know earlier detection saves lives. And uh, and this device has saved hundreds of thousands of lives. And I'm kind of just saddened that that part did not make it into the script, at least one scene of it. But uh, that's OK. I mean, it is what it is. Well, I'm glad you were able to talk about it now because that's yes. amazing. Um, yeah. What was the most surprising part of the process of making this movie for you? I think the most surprising process is they didn't have to go to NASA. I mean, they did everything in a studio. And wow. it was just amazing how, you know, they could get all this work done. Uh, they didn't go to that big NASA net, uh, neutral buoyancy lab. They recreated it in another pool and uh, and did it. And uh, and it looked exactly like what we were seeing at the neutral buoyancy lab. So, I mean, kudos to Hollywood and to the film folks that are able to make uh, sets that look very realistic. And uh, And so I was pretty happy with that. And then can you talk to me a little bit about working with the cast to capture the essence of your loved ones as well? Yeah, I think they did a a good job. You know, obviously they did a great job with uh, with, with Adela, Adelita, because uh, Rosa did an awesome job on that. But also my parents, you know, how, how my parents, you know, taught, you know, tough love kind of thing. And so they say, if it gets hard, it works, you know, you get stronger and work harder. You know, and those type of things. And it's those type of things that uh, really came across pretty, pretty well on the screen. And then one of my favorite through lines in the movie was Miss Young. Can you talk about uh, the importance of putting a spotlight on that and like teachers? Oh, yeah. I love I love bringing this subject up whenever I give motivational conferences to teachers, because I say, if you think you don't make a difference, let me tell you this story about Miss Young, who just took 30 minutes of her life to come to our house and she changed the trajectory of a whole family because yeah. she convinced my dad we needed to stay in one place. And, uh, and I tell him, so next time you get frustrated and you don't think you're making a difference, just look back at the little things you've done for students. And I'll guarantee you there's someone out there that remembers something you did that changed their life. And so, uh, so, so I'm very excited to highlight that. And it's true that we look, for her, it's true that she was sitting next to my parents when I blasted off in space in Cape uh, Canaveral in K- Kennedy Space Center. Wow, that's amazing! Well, yeah. like I said, the movie's fantastic. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today, and I cannot wait for more people to see it. All right, thank you very much. I'm glad you liked it. <laughs>